The team is showing you how to get one of the best weapons in the game. Now, this is one of the best weapons in the game, mainly for its abilities and because in co-op, it's an absolute monster. It's a boss killer. You can shoot from across the board and do thousands and thousands of damage with it. And the cost of the FP isn't that bad per shot. Especially for how much damage you can inflict, a couple potions and the boss is dead. But it does have high requirements, 24 in intellect, 24 in faith, and you have to have 12 in, in dex and strength as well. But it only weighs 4 pounds, so once you get into the real end game and you're like level 200 plus, then you can actually have this as your secondary as well, just to pull it out to use the abilities. And I'm going to show you some gameplay of my friend just wrecking Mog the Omen, one of the end game harder fights in the game. It is really cool. I just have it right now for a secondary. I did the minimum requirements just so I could show you firsthand on the screen what it looks like. I'm going to show you a little gameplay of my friend destroying Mog the Omen with it, just deleting the health bar within a few hits. And then I'll show you exactly how to get this weapon. A definite must have. To get this weapon, we are going to use the Manor Lower Level Checkpoint in the Lake section. If you don't have this checkpoint, start from the main carrier manor, and you're just going to go left along this wall till you reach stairs and come in the building and go upstairs. Just to show you real quick. It's a lot better when you don't have the enemy you're trying to hit aggroed on you. Because it does take a second to warm up. It's a much better co-op boss killer. But it's still really cool. So once we get to this point right here before the end, you're actually going to turn here, look, and jump. Now we can just drop off here. And maybe a little far drop down in here or you can take the ladder either or and right here you can grab the weapon so that is how you get the sword of night and flame whether you're using it as a primary or your plan is like me to have it as a secondary weapon that you can just have a little bit of fun with that choice is yours but it is a really beast weapon definitely a must grab i hope that helps